Remember in most two-dimensional geometry problems, it doesn't matter if it's a circle, a rectangle, some odd quadrilateral, you're almost always drawing a right triangle. So a good goal to have in this in, in future problems. I see that we have a radius of 10 in this circle problem, and even drawing your radius, we want to be strategical. I've seen some people draw it this way, but you always want to try to connect it to points that are significant, right? So I would always try to draw it to either this point or this point as well. You could draw it to both. Um, but for now, we have this radius that's 10. And again, if you remember, I was just talking about right triangles. This could be a hypotenuse. So we also have this x distance here from 4 to 20. So I know that total distance between my endpoints is 16. So if my HK, if this is the center of my circle and it's the center of these two endpoints, correct? Well, I could draw a line down the middle. This is kind of like drawing an altitude. This is another thing that we have to do in a lot of these geometry triangle problems. I just formed my right triangle and I also know that this base is going to be 8 because it splits it in half. We have 8 to the left and 8 to the right. Now finally, you could do Pythagorean's theorem to calculate this third side, or you could just remember one of your most basic triangles, and that is your 3, 4, 5. So if you ever have two of these three numbers in a triangle, remember that multiples count two. So I could also see a 6, an 8, and a 10. I notice that I have an 8 and a 10, so I already know that my height of this triangle is 6. My k value here is going to be 6.